The West Antarctic ice sheet has melted before and it will melt again if we continue our current trajectory of anthropogenic induced climate change. In 1978, a glaciologist from Ohio State University, Professor John Mercer, predicted that sustained burning of fossil fuels would generate anthropogenic warming of the climate and the oceans in his article, West Antarctic Ice Sheet and CO2 Greenhouse Effect, A Threat of Disaster. He anticipated that the warming generated by these greenhouse gases would be magnified at high latitudes, meaning the ecosystems which rely so significantly on a stable, cool climate will see the greatest rise in temperature. Although the West Antarctic ice sheet is a relatively small part of Antarctica, it holds 6% of the world's fresh water, and if it all melted away, global sea levels would rise by 3.3 metres. Today, 42 years after Massa released his damning article, the Thwaites Glacier, the largest and the most vulnerable glacier within the Western Peninsula, has lost 600 billion tonnes of ice in total, and as much as 50 billion tonnes of ice is lost per year. The Western Peninsula is most worrying due to its precarious position grounded below sea level, which means as the ice thins due to warming ocean currents, the water can undermine the glaciers by causing a retreat in the grounding line. A grounding line is a contact zone between bedrock and the ice sheet. A backward shift in this grounding line increases the surface area of the ice to the warm waters, exacerbating the depletion of the ice sheet. Mercer estimated that the tipping point for this peninsula was a warming of 1.5 to 3 degrees, a limit now recognised by scientific community as seen by the 2 degrees Celsius target set in the 2016 Paris Climate Agreement. Using geological evidence from a paleo lake located within central Antarctica, Mercer linked the 6 metre sea level rise, which occurred in the last interglacial maximum 120,000 years ago, to the total depletion of the Western Antarctic ice sheet. Modern technology and research methods have allowed scientists to comprehensively study and confirm Mercer's findings over the last four decades, with one study finding a 14-kilometre retreat of the Thwaites grounding line, indicating the process of destabilisation has already begun. More extensive research of the region over the last four decades from scientists throughout the world have provided overwhelming support for Mercer's findings. However, prevention of this environment's destruction would take swift political intervention and, as Mercer said, a dramatic changeover from fossil fuels to other sources of cleaner energy.